Hey guys, welcome back to Unbiased Magic Reviews, the place you come to for honest magic reviews. Well, as November came to an end, I had not found anything in the classic magic literature that I felt was worth sharing over the past month. So I've decided I'm gonna start off December with a classic magic review for you guys. And this is an old favorite of mine, one that I go back to often. Uh, which can be found in the card magic from the new tops magazine now this piece actually comes from a 1977 edition this was december 1977 of the new tops and it's by phil goldstein if you're not familiar with him you probably know him by his other name max maven the effect is called egress um, and I'm going to tell you guys what the effect is about. This is a mental card effect. And uh, here is the blurb of it. The performer displays a group of 10 cards that are numbered 1 to 10. They shuffle them up and then they openly place a large black X on the back of one of them. The card is then inserted back into the packet and mixed up so that way the spectator doesn't know which card has the X on it. The cards are dealt out face up on the table and the performer tells the spectator to use intuition and to name a number from one to 10 using any intuition that they have to find the card that has the X. So by process of intuition, the spectator will name a number or touch the card and amazingly, they've located the one card that has the large X on it. So this card plot or mental card plot um, actually has been dealt with uh, by a couple of different people over the years. And a lot of the solutions that you're gonna find have to do with things like gimmicks and sticky stuff and stuff like that. Um, it's very pleasing to find that here, there's no real gimmicks. All you need to perform the effect is uh, 10 double blank cards. That's all, you could even use uh, blank cardstock if you wanted to, um, but it is easier with uh, playing cards that are just blank on both sides. I like to carry it uh, in a little packet trick wallet, and this is actually a nice like little leather packet trick wallet. If anyone's interested, I could tell you where you can pick this up too, because most packet trick wallets are pretty cheap overall. Um, so the big advantage of this routine is that it's easy to carry, very easy to perform, extremely simple to understand, gets really good reactions from people, which is why I keep going back to it. Um, it's fun to perform, especially just because it's fun to let people change their mind until they finally decide on something um, and then showing them that they've actually managed to find the card with the X on it. So I will tell you guys, that there is more than one handling based on what the person selects. So um, not to give away the, the method, but just letting you know that there is more than one handling. And if you know anything about Max Maven and his work, then you realize that that's pretty typical of Max Maven overall. It is interesting that there is no gimmicks and there really is no sleight of hand involved, really, when you think about it. It's very, very straightforward, which is crazy. Um, and which this is the reason why you should uh, not neglect old magic literature because you can find some really good gems like this one. So if you're interested in this, I recommend you hunt down the new tops, uh, December 1977 edition, or you can just get, uh, get this book, which is just all of the card magic from the new tops, uh, which I would re just recommend you just find this. You can probably find it on eBay like I did. You can get all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of good magic that's in here. Um, the only thing I will tell you guys is the big disadvantage of performing this routine is that it's not really something that you can let them, it's not really examinable overall, but uh, no one's gonna ask to examine anything, mostly just because it's a very open handling. Um, other than that though, I think that it just is very strong effect, has a very strong effect on spectators. It's very visual and super easy to understand, which is what makes it such a good effect. It's got that impossible nature to it. So I highly recommend it to you guys. If you have a chance, check it out. Uh, try to get your hands on this um, and really, um, you'll really like it. And you'll be like me, you'll keep going back to it again and again. So as always, I'm gonna leave you guys with uh, my own performance of the effect. 
uh, so you can see what it looks like up close. As always, thanks for tuning in to my magic reviews, and I'll see you guys on the next review. So here's what the effect looks like. You take out what looks like a packet of blank cards, and you ask them if they know what's on them. They're gonna say no, you're gonna tell them there's actually numbers that you've written one to 10. You can show them that there's none that repeat uh, in case they're interested to see that. And then what you do is you tell the spectators this, you say in a moment, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark one of these in an interesting way. Uh, but first let's just give them a little mix up. That way uh, you don't really know the order of where these cards are. And we'll also give them a little cut and we're gonna take our marker here and I'm gonna mark one of them on the back, just slightly so you could see it from far away. And uh, that is a good way to mark it. You'll be able to see that from real far away. So we're gonna take that one and we're gonna just drop it into the middle here somewhere. Now, what we'll do is this, we'll just give that one more, one more little shuffle so you don't know where that card is. And then you just lay them out and you ask them to name a number from one to 10. Since no one's here, we're gonna use the random number generator here. And the number we get is number seven. So all you do is you just slide out number seven. And what's nice here is that you let them take a look at that and they're going to see that that's the one that's got the X on it. Um, and so that is the effect right there in a nutshell. That's really what it should look like. So um, I guess you could hand that to them and let them take it with you if you want or not. It's up to you. Um, and you can find that in the new tops.